Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out Taemin's new song, Criminal. It's quite deep. <laughs> it has lyrics like, So elegant a criminal who destroys me. Not okay, I try and shake my hand. Ooh, but I'm only getting dragged in more deeply. I don't want to get away, destroy me completely. But without further ado, let's go check this out. Oh, just to let you guys know, if you guys are interested, I did react to the full episode of Knowing Brothers for Super M on my Patreon. The links down below if you guys are interested. Mmm. <gasps> so epic already. This is quite drip drop kind of vibe. Giving me like 15th century era vibe. <laughs> Chic. Mm. A climb falsetto. Oh, definitely some Michael Jackson influence there. <gasps> no, that's so dangerous. Mmm, lots of emphasis. Boom. There's a lot of, um, emphasis and kind of inflections in the ends of the notes which is amazing it evokes emotion it evokes emotions that's why as for the dance in the beginning that's quite interesting because it's very difficult to dance when you're like this and kind of just incorporating that because that that requires control and we all know Taemin is like known for that con that kind of control like he 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 knows that he excels in that so um because like normally like when you're doing these kind of movements and when you're just as learning it probably uh even for Taemin probably and the dancers like there there would be a tendency to kind of misalign this so it does it's not kind of fully together the whole time when you're just learning it because both hands are obviously different um and the way we one is not more dominant than the other so it could always trail off but um of course they're pros so they're able to kind of just like Keep it there and then just like move as parallel as continuously as possible like that's very difficult even like i'm struggling to kind of like when you're moving that way is just because it's invisible i feel like i didn't really see the actual um handcuff it's kind of just more metaphorical is there an actual handcuff it'll be easier with a handcuff Mm. A lot of popping. This sounds so sexy. Very expressive, right? When he goes like this. It's okay to torture again. Wow. Hmm. Nice! I gotta see that again. Dynamics, right? Because like the whole bit before that whole kind of um, showcase of perfection. <laughs> um, he, it's, it's 
very slow movements there, right? You know, very controlled, very difficult uh, kind of moves. And then he goes into that like sharp kind of move when he goes back. Dynamics. <laughs> Oh, there is a handcuff. Mm. He's in a different register now. He's harmonizing with himself. Amazing. Wait, I didn't miss that. A turn! That's a high kick. Back kick. <laughs> it everything. Mm. Oh my god. I can't get over the harmonies. Because it's... It's in his... That last chorus. His... It's in his like normal breathy tone and then he does like some belty ad-libs in there and then goes on top of it just really nice i don't think i've ever heard him that way before but yeah and in, in accordance with those freaking moves oh i hope there's a dance practice you can tell this is made for a concert. And I, I heard that he, Never Gonna Dance Again was a title, was so his supposed title for a tour. But pan, the pandemic happened and he's he's unable to tour, obviously. And so he used, he decided to use that title for his album, which is so good. It kind of, it's very intriguing because it, it, the title is Never Gonna Dance Again. And like, what do you mean, Tamin? You're gonna, you're gonna dance again? Like what? This particular piece is, if Drip Drop and Move had a baby, it would be this. <laughs> I feel like because it has those elements with um with a uh, choreography wise with like or even to even famous as well so when like when he does kind of like these kind of movements and like when he's like moving these kind of things those hips and stuff it's just very reminiscent to what he excels at what you know those a lot of his um previous in previous influences but he le but he levels it up with something more like like that like those like higher harmonies and those inflections that we've never heard from him that i've never heard from him before me anyway well thank you guys for watching today i hope that you enjoyed it and if you did do like and subscribe and if you do subscribe make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me and if you'd like to get to know more about me do check out my instagram and twitter down below